Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiasts. So a few months ago we were in Nakona, Texas, where we visited with the folks over at the Fenolia Boot Company, and we got to interview Trey, the head of productions at the Fenolia Boot Company factory. Uh, so I will leave a link to that video in the description below. But in that video we did promise that we are going to go ahead and review some boots, and they are finally here. So we got the Fenolio Black Victoria Rough Outs. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start with the box so the box is really nice one of the nicest box i've seen actually it's just very simple very basic got the Fenolia boot company uh logo right here uh made in usa nakona texas which is really awesome and they also have that nice wood grain finish on the box obviously this is cardboard it's not wood but it does look like it and it's really nicely done so now we're just going to open the box and the packaging is pretty standard uh, you basically got the paper right here, uh, open that up, and then you got the boots right there. And uh, you got the shaft shaper, so that's very important to keep. And also you got the vamp shaper on the inside. So let's go ahead and get these boots out of here. Put that on the side for now. So let's go ahead and get into the rundown of these boots. So basically on the sole, you got the rubber sole, which is called the ranch tough sole, as they call it. And it's pretty nicely finished. It still looks like a leather sole from the side. You can't even tell that you're actually wearing rubber sole boots if you look at them from the side, but they are really nicely finished. Uh, but you still get that nice grips, but you could slip your foot into stirrups very easily. Uh, this is what I consider a riding boot. That's what I actually am going to be using it for. And the really nice thing is also to actually enhance that, they um, actually got a stacked leather heel. So a lot of these boots that have the rubber sole, they're going to have a rubber heel as well. Well, here they actually did a stacked leather with that rubber sole to kind of give you the best of both worlds. And you got your uh, traditional uh, cowboy heel instead of a roper heel. So a lot of these rubber sole boots are going to use a uh, rubber heel uh, or a roper heel. And this one actually doesn't on, on both aspects. So uh, it's really nicely done. It's kind of got an underslung heel a little bit right here. And also I love the fact that they got a spur shelf on it. It's just perfect and they actually put a piece of plastic right on top of it to protect it. So it's really nicely done. Now on the uh, vamp, you got a beautiful cowhide uh, rough out and it's got the seven toe or as they call it a zero toe. Uh, so it's kind of very nice and very punchy, uh, kind of slungs forward right here. And you got that single stitch welt going all around here and all throughout the bottom. And it's actually a black stitching. So that really uh, looks good with that natural uh, looking welt. Um, they do not have a toe bug, but this is what I could tell you about this boot. The leather is very nice and thick, which is really awesome. But you see how it kind of folds in right there? It's very supple, so it'll adapt to your foot really well. Uh, for the counter, like I said, they do have that uh, spur shelf here, and they got a nice, tough counter. I think that that counters, I mean, that's really tough, will give you a lot of good support. Now, on the shaft, they got the uh, kind of a cream piping right here, which is really nice looking. Uh, pretty standard stitching right here on there. It's kind of got a little bit of teal and brown and cream. Uh, just really nicely done, very simple, uh, not too much going on, basic. Uh, and also, the actual shaft is made out of goat skin, so that's really nice looking. Um, 
and on the inside uh, you got a full leather lining all throughout and it feels really nice so here it is and then for an insole you have the um, like a like a rubber or sorry foam insole uh, with a little bit of leather uh, lined on there so it really feels nice to the touch from the here uh, kind of a mix of a modern uh, touch with that foam and a traditional touch with that leather so let's go ahead and try these boots on all right y'all so here they are so I did go with a half a size bigger than I usually wear uh, after trying them out in the corner Texas and I think that was a good fit just to go with a half a size bigger and to wear a little bit of a thicker size to take up about a quarter size and I think now it's just the perfect fit right there for me uh, so you just pop right on feeling really good nice and supple leather makes it easier to break in perfect pop right there and I love the way they look that zero toe is awesome looking so here they are that's a side profile right here here's that zero toe from the front side profile other side and the back looks and feel really nice all right y'all so since these are going to be my new riding boots we're going to be doing an extended test but before we get to that extended test since they are rough out let's go ahead and get this done real quick and add a layer of protection on them Alright y'all, so we're here at the ranch and Bolt already has his saddle on. Now we're just going to put his bit and get him ready to ride. Next, I gotta put on my spurs on these bad boys. First with the left one. Nice and tight, just the way I like them. Now on to the right one. Tie it again. Oldies but goodies, and man, they look nice on there. 
Now here's Pancake, the newest Philly Mustang, and she is sweet and wondering what all the commotion's about. Now here's Bolt, all majestic, ready to go, telling me it's time to saddle up. Let's go. These Finolos fit very nicely in the stirrup, but here they are up close. Don't they look awesome? Time to go. Now it's time to warm him up. I think he's going to make a great reigning horse. I just got to catch up. You're on that dummy bolt. Good job, buddy. Warm up is over. Let's see if we can get that rope untangled. Bolt is a roping horse, so he knows when he sees that rope, it means business. Now he's happy. Let's see if we could try our luck with this dummy. Let's go. Missed it. Let's try again. Oh man, it wasn't your fault, Bolt. I wasn't ready. All right, well, one last try. I have to get it done this time. Yeah, good job, Bolt. We got him, buddy. Always time for a little horsing around. Now we're back in and I'm all done. But Bolt ain't. This young lady wanted to go for a ride too. And Bolt is really good with kids. He knows when there's an adult on him and when a child is on him. And he's really cool with them. Now Bolt is done for the day and it's time to take off the saddle. Can't forget the pad.
and now it's time for a bath. That's why we put that protectant on them, wicks the water away. Well, Bolt is all clean and now ready to go back in his stall. Come on, buddy. And that's all for today. So I hope y'all enjoyed the extended test. So here's my final thoughts on these Fenolio Rough Out boots. Uh, I like them a lot, you know, especially for the purpose I'm going to use them for. Now, if you're only wanting one pair of boots and you like rough outs like I do, well, that would be a perfect boot. Uh, Y'all could actually clean it up once you're done working with it and it'll look as good as new. Uh, like I said, I just uh, took a brush and cleaned it up. Of course, it's going to create a little patina working on it uh, and that's fine. I think that that's a lot uh, of character that it gives the boot and, and that's a great thing. Um, if y'all have other pairs and you just want to use this one for work i think it's probably going to be your nicest looking working boot uh that rubber sole is really awesome now i will say this about it it does add a little bit of weight onto the boot which is to be expected because rubber is going to be a little bit heavier than uh some like a traditional leather boot now i will say this um Tacovas has that ranch wear uh, sole where they kind of put a, a little bit of rubber inside of the uh, inside of the leather now that Tacova's boot is heavier than this one so it's not as heavy as that Tacova's Prescott boot but uh, it's still a little bit heavier but that's the price you have to pay for having a rubber sole but it looks really great the stirrups uh, when it went right right into the stirrups the uh, counter over here uh this uh spur shelf really helped out with holding that spur as y'all seen in the video and it's just really an all-around amazing boot it just works perfectly for its intent of purpose so as far as value this boot is coming in at 315 dollars from finolio and that's a really awesome price to pay for a uh that good of a looking boot that you know y'all could use for going out working or both uh at $315 and on top of that you're getting an American made boot you know that's about the price of what you would pay for a Tacova's uh, suede boot um, and this one is made in Nakona Texas so that's really awesome uh, so to me I really strongly recommend these boots y'all can't go wrong with them I mean they're really good and if y'all ever have any problem call the folks over at Fenolio and they will always be happy to take care of it really great people uh, they build them right there with a lot of pride. So um, if y'all want to see the factory tour, uh, my friend uh, Joe Bradburn actually did a whole video of the factory and the process in making the uh, uh, boots over at the Fenolia Boot Company. And I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description below as well for the Cowboy Cartel Group. And also, uh, if y'all like this video, Please hit like and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more things coming up. Cowboy Christmas is only two weeks away, y'all, so make sure to stay tuned. All right? Y'all have a good one.